Hello! It's time for another story with me, Miss Ellis. So today's book is called Clean Up. And the author of this book is Nathan Byron and the illustrator is Dapo Adiola. So I hope you're sitting comfortably. Let's begin. I can't sleep tonight, I'm too excited because tomorrow, oh, I wonder what's going to happen. My, me, my mum and my big brother Jamal are going on holiday to see Grammy and Grampy. It feels as though we've been packing forever, but at last, we're ready to go. I'm going to be fist bumping with a turtle, dancing with a dolphin, high fiving, boom, an octopus, and surfing the waves like awesome Imani Wilmot. Did you know, Imani Wilmot created the first female surf competition in Jamaica. As soon as we arrive, I give Grammy and Grampy a huge hug. Oh, they look happy, don't they, to be there. My grandparents are the best. They run a whale watching tour and have an animal sanctuary at the back of their house. I can't wait to help out. Grampy tells me we never touch wild animals unless they need to be rescued or cared for. It's good advice, isn't it? And then it's time to surf. Grammy is really good. Mum and I build a huge sandcastle. Jamal is too busy to help. Oh no! Oh, a baby turtle has washed up to the shore and it's all tangled in plastic. I pick up the baby turtle gently and take her to Grammy and Grampy. They can fix this. Grammy says she will do what she can and takes her back to the sanctuary. <sighs> Plastic is ruining these islands, Rocket, says Grampy sadly. We save as many creatures as we can, but many stay away. People used to come here to see whales, but we haven't spotted one in such a long time. Oh, that is sad news, isn't it? He leads me down the beach. It feels as though there is more plastic than sand. I feel really sad. We need to do something. But what? Look at all that litter. It's no good, is it? The next day at the beach, there are people playing in the sand, swimming in the sea, eating ice lollies, but all I notice now is the plastic. Surely they see it too. I need to let everyone know. Did you know whales eat the plastic and it makes them sick? Did you know? 
Nearly half the rubbish in the sea comes directly from careless people. Did you know there are over 5.25 trillion pieces of plastic in the ocean? Soon we have lots of new friends who want to help. It's a clean up crew. As the day goes on, more and more people join in. We spend the whole day cleaning the beach. Even Jamal helps. There he is, look, on his phone still though. <laughs> the cleanup crew is amazing. And soon the beach is clean. But now what do we do with all the plastic we collected? Teresa, one of the cleanup crew, has a brainwave. My mum is an artist. We could get her to make something. Yes! What a good idea. Teresa's mum makes some awesome bins for the rubbish. And the whole clean-up crew makes the front pages and the TV news. Now, no one will forget why we need to clean up. Everyone on the island wants clean beaches. Everyone on the island wants clean water. Everyone on the island wants to save the sea life and bring back the whales. That is an amazing bin, isn't it? Look at that. Love it. The next day, Grammy and Grampy have a bar barbecue for the whole clean-up crew. The smell of Grammy's special sauce is wafting around the island. Mmm, I can just smell it. And best of all, while everyone's talking and laughing and eating, Grampy and I release the turtle we rescued back into the sea and watch as it swims away. She's all better now. Yay! And I just know that one day the whales will come back. Did you know? One day, you are going to change the world, Rackett. <gasps> Amazing, isn't she? What a fantastic idea she had. And there is also some information here about how we can help. Shall I read it to you? Here's how you can clean up the beaches. So, reduce. Reduce the amount of plastic you use by switching to reusable water bottles, bringing your own bags to the grocery store and avoiding plastic straws, knives, forks and spoons. So we can do this all the time, can't we? we lots of us come to school with our uh, water bottles, so make sure it's a reusable one. That's a great tip there. There's another one. Go organic with your sun cream. Ah, lots of the chemicals in sun cream that aren't organic can actually help the wild, well not help, harm. It can harm the wildlife when they wash off your skin and into the sea. So if you are going to a beach, just try your best and see if you can get some sun cream that is organic. Good tip. And the last one, this is a biggie, dispose of your rubbish properly. Be sure to separate and recycle your rubbish carefully. We need to rinse things that need to be recycled so that they can be processed correctly by recycling plants. They are really good tips, aren't they? And I definitely think we can follow, especially that one about bringing in water bottles, reusable ones. We can do that, can't we? Yay! So 
thought I just had to read you this book when I saw it in the bookshop because it's such an important message, isn't it? So I hope you enjoyed that story and I shall see you soon for another one. You take care. Bye for now. If you like that story, let me know by giving me a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to my channel, Love to Learn with Miss Ellis. Take care. Bye for now.